The Democratic and Republican Party convention platforms stress security in the Asian Pacific region, especially on issues of concern to Guam, China, and North Korea. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. The GOP ratified its platform in Cleveland. Democrats will do so at their convention next week in Philadelphia. The Democrats' draft platform and the GOP-approved document call for regional security measures in the Pacific. Democrats pledge to work with allies to protect freedom of the seas and to press China to restrain North Korea, which continues to threaten Guam and the U.S. mainland with its missile tests and nuclear weapons program. Republicans demand dismantlement of North Korea's nuclear weapons programs and condemn China's destabilizing claims in the South China Sea. Guam Congresswoman and top armed services readiness panel Democrat Madeleine Bordaglio sees South China Sea territory disputes continuing despite a recent international tribunal's ruling against China's claims. I've long held that the dispute in the South China Sea should be resolved in a peaceful and diplomatic manner, but that's easier said than done. And now with China landing a civilian plane on the Spratly Islands, it's certainly not helpful to this process. So China's actions are concerning. And I hope that they will work with the international community to find an appropriate resolution to this matter. I don't know how that's going to come out, but I do feel that we've got to work at it because it looks like it may even end up a war. What Daniel says of North Korea, top Navy officials are paying close attention to recent missile tests and the unstable regime in Pyongyang. She recently praised the U.S. decision to deploy a THAAD missile battery in South Korea after deploying a THAAD system in Guam a few years ago. The draft Democratic platform calls North Korea perhaps the most repressive regime on the planet run by a sadistic dictator. The document says the North is trying to develop the capability to put a nuclear warhead on a long-range missile that could directly threaten the United States. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.